Hey everybody, this is Edward Jones. I'm going to do another video. Tonight is laundry night. And as you see in front of me, uh, this is a homemade washing machine. Uh, made out of a five gallon bucket that you get from a hardware store. Uh, the lid for a bucket. Take this off. This is just an, this is just a, a water catcher. It just kind serves as a sponge when I'm using the machine. Uh, just drill a hole in the top of the lid for the plunger to fit through. And right here, that's all it is. What I did was I took a plunger and I drilled these three holes at the top. It turned the plunger into an agitator. Also drilled some holes right uh, on the side of the plunger. There's about three in total uh, on the outside. And what it does is when you're you know, moving the plunger up and down, well the agitator, when you move the agitator up and down, it allows for the water to run through the holes. Keep, it works to help keep the plunger from getting stuck at the bottom, which still kind of happens from time to time, but those, uh, those holes lessen the chance. And it agitates the water, so you get more, get, uh, more effective washing. Uh, that's some of the detergent I use right here. You know, I use an arm and hammer. And I tend to use a 20 mule team borax as a laundry booster. It comes in handy. I found I found out that if you ever have a, a flea issue, which I've had in the past with with pests and also coming from outside uh, doing outside work, uh, sometimes fleas will catch on will jump, catch on my clothes. So a uh, 20 mule uh, team borax is good to use in your clothes, and is also good to use like on carpets and bedding. Uh, you know the wash. You know the wash those uh, clothing with that. You know, and it also uh, works as a flea repellent. I have these heavy-duty chemical-resistant gloves. Uh, these gloves come in handy when you're messing with these. Uh, you know these chemicals, especially the borax, because the borax will irritate your skin. Uh, when you're using the washing machine, water tends to get tends to you know get, get everywhere. Let me show you. That space, some water will get through there. That's where this comes in handy. Uh, right now, this I've been using this thing for a couple months just to wash my. Uh, I'll show you right there, some of my dirty, uh, dirty underclothes, just to wash, you know, boxers and socks. Uh, I mentioned in one video about uh, about shelter, about including clothing, and I mentioned you know uh, maintaining your clothing. I like to keep my if I had, if there was a situation where I couldn't wash my you know all my laundry then the one the, the two items that I like to have washed uh, to keep my trying to keep myself you know feeling clean keep my morale up my socks and my boxers um, I guess it's maybe it's a general thing you know if you have those two items clean you know, you're good to go but I like to have I like to have my socks and my boxers you know clean tip top shape uh, you know ready to go and so in a, in a, in a bit I'm going to be doing some laundry uh, it's pretty, uh, I, you know, nothing has happened so far, as far, you know, because I'm doing laundry right now. I'm using washing machine to wash my other clothes and bed sheets, but I'm getting, I'm getting used to washing my clothing using, washing my underclothing using this, because if there, if there did come a time where I needed to, you know, I need to wash my clothes, but you know, water was out, or, you know, electricity was out, I have water stored up. I can just get some water, heat it up, pour it into this. And one other thing, I got a second bucket that I'll fill with cold water so I can actually take my clothing out after washing it and running it through a rinse cycle. So like maybe five minutes of washing with this and then do about three minutes using that bucket where it's filled with cold water just to get rid of the suds and we're going to rinse the clothing clean and then I hang it up on a line to dry. But yeah, if I had to go back, go back to what I was saying, if I had if it was a situation where, you know, the power was out or there was no running water, I can get some running water, heat it up. I can get some stored water and heat it up, and put it inside the main the main bucket, wash my clothes, wash my underclothing, and get some other water uh, that's you know room temperature and agitate it and rinse all the suds out, and you know hang hang my underclothing up in the line. That way. Uh, I be I know that I have a, I have a means of keeping my underclothing clean, which will keep my body clean, will keep my morale up. 
you know, make things just make just make things a lot easier. So this is a preparation that I've decided to share with you. Uh, if you want to do it, it, it won't cost you but maybe 15 bucks. You know, just to have the whole thing set up. You just want to make sure you have uh, a good drill. Something I noticed about these these tops, uh, if they're too thin, they will crack. So you want to start off with a lot. Uh, start off with a small drill bit and then work your way up to a larger one. You don't just want to punch a hole inside of it, otherwise you get a crack. And once the top is cracked, you might as well. Just, it becomes a frisbee. So, oh, that's my uh, that's my washing setup. Wash my underclothes. I may do undershirts uh, in the future, but right now it's been working so. I'm doing so well with you know just washing those under, or just washing those simple underclothes that uh, I decided I may just keep it with that. If things get hairy, then you know if I'm you know, push come to shove, I may you know wash a pair, of, may wash one pair of pants or wash one shirt and you know hang up to dry. But so far, just keeping it with uh, with boxers and socks. But that's my wa that's my homemade washing machine. I'm Edward Jones, and thank you for watching my video.